all, this is Halloween, and if you love Halloween and making costumes as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank, maybe even using some items you already have at home. Hope you're not trying to adjust your color on your phone or TV set. This is my real hair. I did go red and I'm kind of loving it and it's going to be great for an upcoming costume. Getting into today's look, we're going to be recreating Katie Seagal's most famous character, Peg Bundy, from the 1987 through 1997 sitcom Married with Children. Let's get started. Everything you see on this table is stuff that I already had at home, other than the shoes, because I just don't wear heels and the wig, which is a fabulous wig. I got it off of Amazon, but I'll put the picture up of the one that I bought. It's just such a great wig. It looks so good. And then for Peg Bundy, you're gonna need the black pants. You want a black tight pant that goes just below the knee. I've got a belt here, which I used for my one of my Lucy costumes, the one where she stomps the grapes, so Lucy's Italian movie. I used that for that costume, so I already had a belt. This is gonna be one of those old school elastic belts that's kinda wide with the big buckle. You're gonna need some kind of big earring. I'm gonna do two Peg Bundy looks just cause I feel like it and I have the stuff to do it. And I'm just kinda interested how each look is going to look. So I'm gonna do a couple looks, a couple different ideas to throw out at you. I've got uh, some gold here, gold earrings here, just big flowers. That's actually gonna go with my second look and then this this shirt is so Peg Bundy. I'm gonna put the belt right across the middle. And then I've got another one. It's a bodysuit that I'm gonna do for the other look. I think it's also very Peg Bundy. <laughs> Just any wild patterns, bright colors, tank tops with, a, with sort of like a silky overlay. Things like that is what Peg Bundy wore. You always wanna get a, a kind of a big earring. I've got these for one of the looks and I've got um, a nice chunky necklace here and a bracelet as well somewhere <laughs> but yeah she just wore kind of chunky costume beaded jewelry and then for the shoes you're not gonna believe the trouble I had trying to find a Peg Bundy shoe so typically she would wear like a candy style with no back I cannot find that shoe I've been to like eight or ten thrift stores and I'm looking for just this kind of shoe because I didn't want to pay twenty nine dollars or three hundred dollars that's all, they basically range from $29 to $300 online for the more expensive brands. And you can't really find them anywhere else, like in thrift stores and stuff. And the ones that I did find, they were perfect, but they were like a size five, you know? So this is what I got. It has a, a thin strap at the top. Typically hers did not have a strap on the back because she'd kind of sit on the couch and she'd, you know, cross her legs and then flop that heel it was part of her mo so if you can find a candy style shoe i recommend you get that for peg bundy and everything else here is just stuff i had at home so this will be a very easy costume it'll also be quite comfortable especially if you're used to wearing heels let's go ahead and get started with our makeup for this look you're only going to need regular makeup so i've got my tried and true ulta beauty palette which i'm probably just going to be using all of my colors from here it's got a lot of colors and uh, when I'm doing something more natural like this, it pretty much covers all the territory. It's called the Just Face It Palette by Ulta Beauty and it's got um, also several blush colors and contour as well. So it's kind of got everything. I have a brown brow pencil I'll be using. I'm going to use just regular mascara. If you want to do lashes, you can. She's very out there and eccentric. If you haven't seen Married with Children, it is actually the longest running live action sitcom Fox ever had. That's kind of cool, but it's hilarious. So if you're younger and you never really got to experience the joy of watching the sitcom, it is a sort of fun and quirky and just really funny um, slapstick sort of humor. And it's about a middle class family. Uh, the guy, Al Bundy, he works as a shoe salesman in it. And she's kind of a stay-at-home mom, but she's really 
kind of out there and eccentric and her style is, I mean, I thought it was so unique and cool. When I was growing up, I really thought she was beautiful. I still think she's beautiful. And today, if you see her today at age 70, she looks stunning. She actually reminds me a lot of my mom, especially in this sitcom. Christina Applegate was also in it. She played the daughter. She was stunning too. Again, she still is. So they all really, besides Al Bundy, I think he looks pretty much the same. <laughs> he didn't look great in the sitcom, so he's just kind of a normal looking guy. I'm gonna start it with my eyebrows and just darken them a little, that's all. I feel like it's been forever since I did a costume, even though it was just a couple weeks ago. I'm gonna be doing a costume at the end of each month through May. So it'll be like the third week of the month up until the end of April. And then in May, I'm gonna start doing a costume a week again. I've got a lot planned out for this year. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything. Especially gonna want that information when it gets to be, you know, October, Halloween's coming, and maybe even for some cosplay ideas, because I do a lot of that kind of stuff. Not really concerned about shaping my brow exactly like hers. Our face shape is similar. She has high cheekbone, um, big eyes, you know, we, we kind of have similar features. That's going to just speak for itself, <laughs> I think. Kind of a more rounded or oval face as well. I'm super getting excited because I'm going to Atlanta in May to see my favorite band of all time, Sunny Day Real Estate. I don't know if you've heard of them. They are a 90s Seattle emo band and they break up pretty much like every two years. So <laughs> kind of, it, it feels that way. Like if they're touring, they're usually in the West Coast touring or they're touring under their other band. The lead singer, Jeremy Enix's other band called The Fire Theft which I only just recently, I feel like such an ass, but I only just recently learned about that band and I like them just as much. So every time I catch them, I either just missed them somewhere closer to me, but they don't seem to ever come to Tampa or St. Petersburg or Clearwater. So we're going to Atlanta to the Shaky Knees Music Festival. So if you're there, you might see me, but we're only going for the one day because I've kind of seen a lot of those bands already, especially the bigger ones and I'm really only interested in seeing Sunny Day Real Estate. If you haven't heard of them or you're interested in listening to their music, you might want to check them out. They're really good. Brows are just about done here. That's pretty much all I'm going to do for a brow. Our bangs are long and kind of curled, so they're going to cover a lot of our, our eyebrow anyway. I just wanted them to be there. So let's go ahead and start with our eyeshadow. We're going to do sort of an almond shape. We're going to go with a dark color on the outside and working our way in a uh, lighter color. I'm actually going to start light. <laughs> start with the middle and work my way out. There's a real light brown here I'm going to go with. It's, uh, it's kind of like a coffee when you put a lot of creamer in there. It's that color. So I'm going to start with that inside and I might just put a little highlighter on the lid. So far this year's been pretty good. Fingers crossed we did already lose somebody in our family. So that's not good, but as far as everything else goes, it's been all right so far. How has your year been? What are you planning on doing for, do you know what you're gonna do yet for Halloween for your costume? Or are you just waiting to find out some ideas from me? Cause if you are, that's cool too. <laughs> yeah, my, my husband lost his uncle Jimmy. He lives in California, so they were kind of estranged anyway. Didn't really talk much. I got to meet him once. He came here to Florida to visit, or it was right when he was moving out of Florida or something. But we went and met up with him in Largo, and you know, he just, he liked his drink and his cigarettes. So what can I say, you know? It was something that was kind of expected. So that's all I'm gonna do. You can hardly see it right now, but when I add on the dark, on the outside, this will look really good too, like in, in better lighting. Well, no, actually two of my lights went out. I'm hoping you can see it okay. I just went on the inside with this sort of coffee brown. It's very light. It's, it's not real out there, but she does wear a red lip and bright blush, like a pink blush. So still going to look kind of hooker-esque. <laughs> so we're going in now with our darker color. This is just like a dark charcoal brown. And we're going to do that on the outside and a little bit in our crease. 
And once that's done on that side, we'll do it on this side and we'll blend a little bit. So the shoes I bought with the straps on them for this costume, even the other ones, they're kind of terrifying. <laughs> they're really high heels. I will not be able to walk in them. I recommend you get a shoe that you can walk in if you're gonna do this costume. Hey, if you're good at wearing heels, rock it. I am not. I have a high end step, plantar fasciitis, <laughs> and uh, heels are no bueno for me right now. And I doubt they ever will be. Just, they've never been my friend. I think I'm just gonna put a little bit down here underneath as well. Just a little. I'll have to look and see if she has any black uh, on the waterline. So I'm gonna do my mascara and no fake lashes. I mean, for me. But if you wanna add them, like I said, that's fine. She was a flamboyant character and you're just adding to the drama of the look. It's just me and eyelashes don't really get along very well. And also God gave me some, so I'm just gonna rock those. And then the other one. Here's where we're at right now. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of eyeliner on. Hopefully it doesn't turn into a cat eye. I don't think she has a cat eye. And then I'm gonna just put a little of a dark brown or black and kind of go in the crease a little bit more with that. She really has the makeup heavy on the corners of the eyes. From what I can see, it's hard to find a good picture of her makeup actually online. I'm just doing what I think I see. This will also bring out the lash a little bit more. You're almost looking hooker-esque. You know that song, it's a country song, I like my women just a little on the trashy side? This, she was the uh, embodiment of that song. That actually looks good, it's not a cat eye, it's just a line on my upper lid and really brought out my eye. So I'm gonna do that to the other side. Now I have my Tamix Revolution palette from Target. If you don't already know about these palettes, they're pretty cool and pretty well pigmented. You can get them for like $15 at Target and they have these really cool bright colors like for holidays, you know, St. Patrick's Day and Christmas and stuff. You can really do a lot with these colors, even if you're doing costumes and stuff. I find them pretty good, I mean for 15 bucks. And you get a lot of shades to choose from. I'll probably end up getting more of these because they're really good for costume and stuff. If you want to create a fake bruise, there's some really good colors in here for that. Like if you're doing a pirate or something. So I'm going into my black in this palette and I'm just gonna go into just the corner of my eye. And I am kind of am taking it into a bit of, not really a cat eye, but just almond shape with this. It's kind of like right in the corner. That's serious, that looks good. So, and I'm just gonna do that to my other eye. I had this idea to try a little contour on my nose. <laughs> just to make my nose look a little more pronounced. Our noses are a little different, so. We'll see if it works. <laughs> if it doesn't, that's what they make makeup remover for. Like I've said, I've not really played around much with contouring, I realize that that's kind of uh, major today in makeup but I just I never really want that much stuff on my face less stuff less is more for me <laughs> so I'm just gonna out outline my nose here and then I guess I'm just gonna blend it with my finger <laughs> and then I'm gonna put like a highlight down the middle which would be my concealer. <laughs> just to kind of, like I get the gist of it, but I'm just not, I don't do it much, is all I'm saying. I see some of the layers of stuff people put on their face and it just, I'm like, I'm kind of grossed out by it. Cause like, that's too much stuff on my face. <laughs> Does that look weird? I'm not great at that. So yeah. I'm just gonna blend a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna get my bright pink blush from these, this Ulta palette, the brightest one in the palette. And I'm just gonna rock that. And you're just gonna go right here on your cheekbone and make it bright. Let's 
so I've got my bright blush on now it's just time for lips we're gonna go with a bright red lip color so I'm putting on my bright red lipstick this one is uh called vinyl I think it's from Maybelline it's called red hot and it is Maybelline it's their vinyl lip colors this one's pretty good but it gets to looking glossy you got to put it on thick for it to be vibrant <laughs> I think I'm looking pretty Kitty Seagal now. Wait till I get the wig on. Let's go get dressed. All dressed up and ready for photos. I hope you love today's look. It is classic. People our age, you know, in their 40s, 30s, are probably going to know Peg Bundy. She was one of the most notable characters ever on a TV sitcom. If you are interested in more looks like this, I do have a classic TV playlist that I will be uploading more looks this year to. And I think there's several on there already couple of Lucy's too, if you're a big Lucy fan like I am. This can be a group costume. You can go as the whole Bundy family. You can do couples, obviously Peg and Al, or even with a girlfriend as Peg and Kelly Bundy. It is just a really fun and super easy, you can just grab things from your closet and throw it together kind of look. If you haven't already, please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video. And I'll see you next time.